Insemmi l-Komsinju Jaldi, l-Parti ta' Xandira ninsabu ħazzebbuġ fej ġejna nżuru l-Ambaxatriċi ta' Franza u satkellimna dwar ħafna farjiet li inkludu l-inizjattivi li għandu ma' Malta u ġrajiet kurrenti li jiet jisiru ġo Franza l-lum. How does it feel to be in a small village in Malta like this? Ah, I'm feeling like experiencing, I would say, the real Malta. And um, I think it's good also that the resident is open uh, to the French uh, public, but also to the Maltese. And we were very proud and happy to uh, gain big success when we organized open garden, so to say, so visits so that the people of Zebuj, the residents of Zebuj, but beyond of Malta, could have a chance also to have a look to this beautiful garden, which is also part of uh, Malta heritage. So that's very important to be intertwined and link to uh, Malta, to of course the Maltese authorities, but also to the Maltese people. The war in Russia and Ukraine. Uh, can you tell us a bit more about the conference that's forthcoming? Sure. Um, first, we all condemned uh, this war of aggression. It runs against international law, but beyond the principles. In fact, um, it put in danger all our international order, not only the security in Europe, which is still some something very important to us. And that's the reason why I think we have to explain to our people how important it is to support Ukraine, even military, uh, on a military way. Uh, I know that Malta uh, has a s specific position on that and we respect that, but Malta has been supportive in terms of humanitarian aid. That's what we are doing also. So that is also very important. Um, and given the fact that it's not only a war of aggression, but it's also the Russians are uh, putting an emphasis on uh, shelling on civilian infrastructures, that is called war crimes in inter international law. But of course, those who are responsible for that should be brought to justice. But in the very short term, we have to help the Ukrainian people to uh, be able to uh, resist and it's definitely this kind of resistance resilience that the russians are also trying to break and that's the reason why we have to show solidarity so when president macron spoke with uh, president zelensky so the ukrainian president they have decided to convene a conference an international conference it will be in paris and i think it's very important that each and every european members can show solidarity and be there of course, we will contribute um, sometimes differently. And uh, Malta is a small country, but is also very active in some uh, areas, humanitarian medicine, and so on and so forth. That's also very important for the Ukrainian people. And so it will really be the support of Ukrainian, Ukrainian resilience. And let's say, try to do uh, our utmost possible so that um, to compensate so to say the destruction of the ukrainian infrastructure in terms of energy and water facilities what are the dates of the conference it's on the 13th of december
there will be an international conference, so European uh, countries will be there. Um, the US will be invited, Canada, so the big players, stakeholders, also uh, countries from the Middle East because they want also to help and they could be also, um, uh, their role would be uh, very important if we have to provide fuel or gas, so that will be very important to, to show solidarity and unity again, not only at the European level but also at the international level. What are your comments so far about COP27? F first, um, it's a COP that is an Africa African conference, which is very important because they are one of the m most affected countries in the world. Second, it's a conference about implementation and respect of commitments. And I think in this regard, Europe is really showing the leadership uh, on the big players who are the, the ones who give most money to those who are the most vulnerable uh, in Africa, in Asia, small islands. And I know how important it is for Malta to uh, take the lead also to protect the small islands. So indeed, they deserve to be protected, to be helped. What is needed is also that uh, we help countries in transitions so um, that are already developed to move from, I would say, uh, dirty energy, the one that we have sometimes misused, we uh, Western countries, to cleaner energy, so that's very important. We want to engage also big players that are back on the scene, uh, and I'm thinking about the US and the the Biden administration is very active and willing to uh, take their part on that and we're very happy to see that. We have also to engage China, which is also an important player, an important polluter, but we have noticed that China never stopped being committed even when the US was withdrawing from um, the Paris agreements. So it's a matter of climate justice, about solidarity, about implementation, so efficiency. And I think it's the president of the EU Council who spoke about having a climate gun to our head. And I think it's the proper picture. So we have no choice to be, but to be committed and to be active. First, to move and make a quicker transition to clean energy. And it's not the war in Ukraine that uh, should prevent us uh, from doing that. On the contrary, it's uh, even more necessary. And second, we have to be um, solid and credible in terms of solidarity, helping the others. During um, what we saw on TV uh, during COP27, we saw a very friendly exchange with the French president and the new UK prime minister. What are your comments about that? But first, and you know, beyond personal relationship, um, the relations we have with the UK is, I was speaking about the relations we have with Germany, it's also a strategic ones. So it's a very important ally. We're happy that we are also able to find practical operational solutions, not uh, going, I would say, beyond a useful polemics, um, and that was uh, the case in terms of fighting against immigration, illegal immigration, of course. Uh, there was an agreement uh, found between our two interior ministers, and the um, Prime Minister of UK and our President decided to hold also a summit, a bilateral summit, in the first quarter of next year. And that will be important also to reinforce our very close cooperation in terms of defense in this world because there is the war uh, in Ukraine and beyond. So that's also an area where we need, in fact, to cooperate more and again.
you have any comments about uh, the UK policy on immigration, especially if we focus on Kent, on what's happening in Kent? Well, I don't want so much to comment on uh, British uh, policy. What is important is that we are, in fact, both of us affected by illegal uh, immigration. So we have, in fact, to cooperate, and that was uh, decided. Uh, we have also to cooperate, like, in every uh, case, uh, speaking about illegal immigration, uh, on the routes that bring people to risk their lives. Um, they are looking for a better future, so we have also to offer them a better future at home first. Then there is also the question of countries of transit. Some of, of those who are um, coming to Calais, in fact, travel through Belgium, so it's also with our Belgian colleagues that we have to cooperate, and we are already cooperating, but we have to do more. And basically, there are some steps that maybe would help uh, us together and the UK to prevent uh, all those moves that sometimes, in fact, end tragically um, in, in the channel. Um, and that is maybe to change the legislation about uh, the fact that even if you're illegal in Great Britain, you can still work. What about your initiatives here in Malta? First, we want, in fact, to uh, promote more debates, more exchanges between our universities, between the students, between the young people, between the readers, between uh, those who are um, taking the time also to learn French. So we are promoting, of course, French uh, teachers, and French teaching, we are promoting exchanges uh, between University of Malta, uh, including MEDAC and other universities in France. We want also to um, be part of the multi scene on various uh, domain, I would say. We will, in fact, participate in the Malta Book Festival. We will hold two conferences. Uh, and I wish that your viewers can be there with us. The first one will be about traveling experiences from French visitors to Malta in the 17th and the 18th century. Wow. It will be fantastic. That's I very think. different. I look forward yes. to it too. And the second one will be also very interesting. Uh, we know that Albert Camus is also a French writer that is well known. He was a French Nobel Prize in literature. As you know, there is another one, a woman now, Arnie Agnierno, who also won this prize this year. And we will have also experts, Maltese and French, discussing those two uh, great, great writers. Camus, of course, is well known thanks to um, Tony Aquilina, who translated in Maltese. And we hope maybe that we can find also a way that Annie Arnaud will be uh, translated as well, um, at least in English. And I think winning this Nobel Prize will help. We want also to engage with uh, the young Maltese. So we'll have a completely different um, event. It will be on the 7th of December. So you can stay late and being uh, in nightclubs dancing. So we'll, we'll have a Franco-Czech group. Uh, their name is Years of Denial, and they will uh, be, in fact, uh, playing in Malta um, in one of the, the plays, which is called Liquid Club. also a way to uh, promote Europe as, you know, a, a territory where you can exchange ideas, music um, and culture in general. And it has been a long tradition between France and Malta. And I want also um, to point out in this regard the pleasure and the honor that we had to uh, hand over uh, the highest distinction in France 
of the Legion d'honneur as a commander to a former Maltese president who was well respected too, and it was uh, Dr. Hugo Mifsud Bonici. And he made us not only the honor and the pleasure, but also the friendship to come over for the ceremony here at the residence. When was that? And on the day of his birthday. Oh, how lovely. So it's the 8th of November, dear viewers. Mm -hmm. So now I know. Mm -hmm. And we promise ourselves that we will do something nice also for next year. That's lovely. That's lovely. Thank you very much for your time today. Thank you so much Thank for you. having me. Thank you very much.